What's up, y'all? I'm Langston, and I am honored to be joined by the spokesperson for Madame Tussauds, the one, the only, Ben Shapiro. Ben, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me here. Yes, thanks for joining us. How's your Comic-Con? How's it treating you? Yeah, it's been awesome. Really, really great exhibitors here, but, I mean, we know who the best one is. Yes, I think I think we might. Now, uh, Madame Tussauds had a long-standing partnership with Marvel, helping to bring our characters to life, uh, almost, to, almost like, really lifelike, but... Something very special is happening at New York Comic Con this year. Can you tell us about Madame Tussauds' presence here on the Comic Con floor? Yeah, absolutely. So we've had a, a relationship with Marvel going back probably to the origins of the MCU, creating figures from Iron Man to the latest figure that's just debuted today at Comic Con. It's Loki, mm -hmm. God of Mischief. Yes. All right. So I want to talk about it because everyone, I mean, again, you can get up, you come down to the booth, you can get up close and, and very close to these figures and see all the incredible, amazing details that go into making these figures. So tell us a bit about the historic debut of the God of Mischief himself, Loki. Yeah, I mean, there was no better figure to bring into the Hall of Heroes than Loki. He's not quite a hero, I have to say, but with the, the streaming show on Disney+, Plus, Loki, everyone has their fan favorite villain back in the spotlight. And there was really this moment where we knew we can't have a Marvel area in the attraction if we don't have Loki. So they spent, what, four, six months working on this figure? Tons of artists, tons of measurements, reference photos, and you can check it out here in person. Loki looks incredible. These figures are so detailed. Do you have a favorite detail in the Loki figure? You're like, oh, if you see it, you gotta check this out because they knocked yeah. this particular detail out of the park. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't know, if you look in his eyes, and it, it is based on Tom Hiddleston, you can see, like, Loki's seen some stuff, right? Um, no, I think, I think it's the scepter that Loki's holding. It's based on the same one from Avengers, from the movie in 2012. It has a little light-up effect when it's plugged in uh, in the attraction. So get up close, take a look. These are figures for you to take a picture with just like the characters next to you. And this is not the only place that Loki's going to be. I believe this is only one stop on Loki's journey here in New York, right? Yeah, this is the official debut of Loki for Madame Tussauds New York. And right after Comic-Con, he's gonna move a couple blocks down the street to Madame Tussauds New York. And of course, that is not the only figure that is here at the, uh, the Marvel booth. We have as well, the King of Wakanda himself, the Black Panther. Yeah, it's true. Black Panther's gonna be here. The King has arrived. I see you have your shirt on, so wear in the spirit. There's no better character to bring right now than Black Panther. Everyone knows the movie comes out next month. Marvel Studios' Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So it was really a fitting opportunity. I think that when you look at the Marvel characters, there's no movie and franchise like Black Panther that has touched hearts and minds like this one has. It's truly a cultural phenomenon. So we're super excited to bring Black Panther here and give fans that one of a kind encounter with the King, get real up close and personal, and maybe see a little fleck of that vibranium in there. Ooh, yes. Now for folks that come down here uh, and they have questions about the figures and Madame Tussauds, y'all have people here that can answer those questions, give us that information out, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna have staff here that can answer all your questions. I know you'll have some about the behind the scenes how these characters come to life. And some of the people that are gonna be here are actually the artists that work on the figures themselves. So definitely ask all things about wax. Ben, thank you so much for joining us. And all you out there, please get down to the Marvel booth here at the Javits Center. Check out Madame Tussauds installation here, and then go a couple of blocks over to check out Madame Tussauds uh, Times Square location because it is the coolest I go there often and frequently because it's, it's fun to see all my favorite Marvel characters. Ben, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, of course. We'll see you there. I'm Langston, and this is Marvel, your universe.